Hey guys, thanks to everybody who has subscribed and commented on my last video. You were so welcoming and kind. Today I have three whips to show you, one rack, um, a little mini haul, and a few patterns that I've written. At the end I'm going to show you a finish, but it's a crochet finish, which doesn't really fit floss tube, but it does have stitches in it. Um, so bear with me. Um, I am trying out a new camera setup and lighting. Um, I'm sitting on my bed and really quick I just want to show you what you're sitting on. This is my very professional camera stand. <laughs> These are actually some cam candlesticks that um, a friend made me for Christmas. They're pieces of wood and they're pretty and Right now they work, so that's what I'm going with. Okay, I'm trying parking for the first time with much help from Carolyn's videos. Thank you so much, Carolyn. Um, my pattern is Dance of Bougival, um by Diana70 on Etsy. And first of all, it took me forever to grid this piece out. I've never gridded anything. Usually I just go for it, and I did try to just go for it with this pattern, but I am screwed up. I missed a row and had to totally rip out everything I had done. And so I decided, well, suck it up and grid the piece. Um, so I bought some of this. Now how many of you use this? It seems really handy. I've had some problems with stitching on it and around it. Um, it makes me nervous, uh, but the first drawback was that it took me forever. So here's my piece of fabric. It's 25 count Lugana, and this piece is 260 stitches across, 500 down. And I don't know, I grid it on a 10 by 10 square because that's how it's written out, and this just took me forever, and as you can see, I didn't even do the horizontal stripes on half of it. I would say, if I had to guess, this took me six hours, maybe seven. <laughs> it just took forever, and the whole time I was telling myself, this is going to be worth it, this is going to make it easier. You know, on the package for this grid line, it says that it's it cuts your stitching time in one third. And I'm just think I'm just sitting there thinking, this better cut my stitching time in third. This better cut my stitching time in third. So anyway, um, I don't know. I <laughs> this is just this is a lot of skills that I have not done before, and I kind of think it's just <laughs> full coverage parking, gritting, beginners, overload. I've never done tent stitch, I've never done parking, and so I don't know if it's just a combination of too many new things at once. Um, I'm, I'm excited, but I kind of feel heartsick. Does that make any sense? It's just, I think I'm really seeing like how tiny the stitches are and how many stitches there are in this piece, and it's kind of freaking me out. <laughs> I don't get a lot of stitching time during the week, and so I just can see how long this is going to take me. So I think I just need to wrap my mind around the fact that I love this, I started it, I'll work on it when I can, and it's going to be okay if it takes me five years, right? Is that what you tell yourself? Let me know. The second whip I have going is a pattern that I've already written but not released and I'm going to show you what I have done um, but I'm not going to explain much. I'm just going to be quick. Um, this is going to be a family sampler. It's a literary family and if you know the themes of a lot of my patterns you might be, hopefully you'll be able to guess what family I'm doing. Um, but it's going to be an 11 by 14 piece, and I'll show you the people that have completed. The family name is going to go at the top. There's going to be black work all around the border. So, this is the father, 
and I love how he came out. Uh, this is the eldest daughter. This is another daughter. There's five daughters in the family. And then I have this daughter done, but she looks really plain without her back stitching, so just forgive me. Love her polka dot dress. And um, I, I'm really excited about this piece. The reason I'm stitching it before releasing the pattern is I just want to make sure every single stitch is right. And i um, super excited about that. So I'll let you know actually what it is closer to, to when it's done. Okay, now my third whip, I need your help. I made an incredibly unbelievable dumb mistake that I cannot believe I made. In all my years of stitching, I have not done this. And um, I'll tell you my mistake after I show you what I did do of the pattern. Um, this pattern has a profile of Pride and Prejudice, Mr. Darcy. And then at the bottom, it says Cats, Coffee, Mr. Darcy. So it's like a little list of your favorite things. So I'll show you the profile I did. I did this on Ada even though I really wanted to do it on linen. I did it on Ada because I wanted to be able to say that it could be done on Ada. And it can be. And it wasn't super frustrating even though it has a million fractional stitches in it. So here's Darcy's profile. And I was super psyched at how well this came out. And then I took it off my Q-snap. Can you see my mistake? The text is supposed to go under the profile. And I could have thrown up when I saw what I did. <laughs> Guys, I am so obsessive before I do the first stitch of measuring, measuring, rechecking, rechecking, looking at my fabric. I mean, I, I, I'm terrified of running out of fabric. And so I super duper check and measure. And I can't believe I did this. Um, <laughs> there is no room for the, he's supposed to be up here. Now I know what I did wrong. I had a mark, I erased it since then, right here of the middle of the pattern. And then I have a mark right here. So I loaded it up into my Q-snap. I tucked the extra fabric back. And then there was a mark on the top and the bottom. And I just picked it up and I assumed that this was the top mark, and I stitched away. Um, okay, so guys, help me out. What do I do? I really don't want to restitch this profile. It, I don't want to restitch this profile. It, it did take a while. I could restitch it. Maybe I'm just being lazy. But if I didn't want to restitch it, what do I do? Is there a way that I could cut him out? and somehow finish the edges onto another piece of Ada. What would you do? How would you fix this? How would you transfer this to another piece of Ada? Oh, this just makes me heart sick. I threw it in a cabinet and I thought, I'll ask Floss Tube, I will humble myself, show them what I did. <sighs> Guys, I, I, this is just going to increase my OCD problem of measuring my fabric. I guess that's a good thing, maybe. Okay, so those are my three whips. Um, I did have one rack off Press Stitch and Discuss. This wonderful lady named Sue saw that I had complimented this pattern and said I wish I could find that. And she said, I'm going to go to the thrift store and I'm going to buy it and send it to you because I see it at my thrift store all the time. So here's the pattern. I love the bees and the lavender and the flowers. Um, it says, pleasant words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Proverbs 16, 24. And then she also included this really, this companion piece. And I think that one's pretty too. I would do it on a different fabric, but um, that one says, the desert shall rejoice and blossom as a rose. So I am really thankful to have those, and thank you, Sue. Cross-stitch people are so generous and amazing. Like, I can't believe a stranger just did that for me. And I hope I can be as kind to others. All right. 
haul. This is a mini haul, but I wanted to show you what I got because I got a couple deals off Amazon. I did buy this Easy Count grid line. I already told you my experience with that. I bit the bullet and bought myself one of these DMC needlework cards. Um, I'm really thankful I bought I've already used this. I kind of thought, eh, I'll buy it. Maybe it'll be useful, maybe it won't. Guys, I think this is a handy tool for your stash. It shows you all the DMC colors. And I keep my stash on a Excel worksheet of what colors I have and what colors I need, but I can see how this could be a really useful tool of keeping track of your stash. Like your little library card catalog. That would be fun. Um, but I ha I've already used this and I, I, I really like it. I'm glad I bought it. Okay, Amazon deals. My first Amazon deal is from China. Sorry to offend you if you are not a kind of person who orders cheap China stuff. Um, I got this pair of snips. Uh, they come in various colors. You have no um, choice on the colors. They make a really pleasing sound. They were $2 free shipping. And I just thought... I'm always losing scissors. I, I can't have enough scissors laying around. I'm still getting up to hunt for scissors. And I just figure if I litter scissors enough around my house, then I won't have to get up. This is my last deal. A thousand... Have you guys seen this? This is such a deal. A thousand plastic bobbins for fifteen dollars. A thousand. Guys, a thousand. Like, you'll never run out of bobbins. That makes... I, I did the math, and I should be able to do the math in my head, but that makes these like one cent a piece. Guys, that's cheaper than you can even buy them wholesale. So, I will never run out of bobbins ever again. Okay. I wrote a few patterns this month, and I'm going to insert pictures really quick. I'm going to go through this really quick. I wrote a Shakespeare is my homeboy pattern, and I'll put the picture right here. That pattern was so much fun. I love how his ponytail looks. I love how the colors go together. I'm a huge Shakespeare fan. My husband and I love going to watch Shakespeare plays. Uh, Favorite tragedy is Macbeth. Favorite comedy is Much Ado About Nothing. What's your favorite? Your favorite Shakespeare? Um, I don't read Shakespeare. I just, it's so much easier for me to understand when I watch it. And so whenever I see a perform performance available, I try to go see it. So anyway, um, I also wrote a set of cat patterns, cat cartoon patterns, and I will insert those here. Those were super fun to make, and, um, yeah, what else is there to say? Cats. I mean, cats are awesome. And then, just the other day, I finished a, <laughs> a pattern that says, Living in an Amish Paradise. I'll insert that here. Living in an Amish Paradise is a tribute to my daily life. I live in Amish country and <laughs> uh, there are buggies everywhere. Like, I've been behind an Amish buggy in the bank line, in the bank um, drive through Yeah, it's no joke. Um, <laughs> I know people think they see that and they're like, oh, how quaint. Um, it's just a part of our everyday life here in the Midwest. Um, so the quaintness has kind of rubbed off. Okay, so that's all my cross-stitch stuff for now. I could keep talking and boring you, but I won't. Um, I want to show you my crochet finish, which is why I don't have more progress on my whips. I tried to finish this, and if you're not interested, I don't blame you, and you can sign off now. But I finished a blanket for my daughter. I've made all three kids a crochet blanket now, and I'm super excited to be done with it because it was getting tedious. I love crocheting. In fact, sometimes I prefer crocheting when we're watching a movie that I actually want to keep my eyes on the screen 
because I can crochet and not look at it constantly um, with cross stitch. I usually just listen to things. My husband and I recently went on vacation and we were re-watching the United States Office. I, that's one of my... I love that show. I think it's really funny. It can be inappropriate, but it's really funny. And you have to you have to look at people's facial expressions to get half of the humor. And so I hardly got any cross stitching done on um, on vacation. I really just tried to finish this blanket. So I will show it to you, and I'll insert a picture at the end because you really can't. I can't get far back enough. But um, it's a blanket made up out of hexagons, and it just goes from light colors, and then at the bottom, dark colors. And um, I love the way it turned out, and my daughter loves it. Um, she's sleeping with it already. So that's extremely gratifying. And I, don't, I really don't want to crochet anything for a long time. I really just want to cross stitch forever. What do you guys cross stitch when you really want to watch something? Um, not just listen and glance up and down. Um, is there a project that that you turn to that um, so you can pay more attention to the screen? <laughs> what a horrible question. Guys, tell me how to craft and watch TV at the same time, please. <laughs> anyway, okay, guys, I'm on Instagram. I love to connect with all of you um, on there. It's Lindy Stitches. I also have a cross stitch newsletter. I've only issued one edition, but had a free pattern in it um, that I wrote. So if you'd like to subscribe to my newsletter to get um, free patterns and other cross stitchy stuff, the link is down below. I'm on Facebook. My Etsy store is lindystitches.com. And I will see you guys next time. Happy stitching. I hope you're having a great summer. Bye.